Hey, what's up? This is Dave Bailey and welcome to another episode of Serial Bars. This is our special Christmas episode and today's special guest is indie pop phenomenon, Benny. Thank you to Serial Killer Cafe, of course, for our delicious cereal. Hey, Benny. Hello. How are you? Where are you? I'm good. Thank you. I'm in Auckland, New Zealand. I'm jealous. Is We're about sunny? to you. I'm in London and it's cold and wet. No, today it's actually like grey. You can't see that. Probably like, I sent that to you with the cereal <laughs> that you're about to taste. But anyway, we'll taste the cereal, we'll talk about growing up, and then I'll make you a beat based on what you tell me. Cool. The way we normally start the show is we like ask you to think back to when you were seven years old and mm -hmm. you wake up in your bedroom what does it look like? What have you got on your walls? What kind of sheets have you got? I had a bunk bed. I had a collection of dolls, which I'm now like terrified of. And there was just stuff like everywhere. My room was messy. It was just chaos. And I'd make my little brother like sleep on the bottom bunk because I would be too scared to sleep by myself. Hold on, I'm just gonna write this down because this is all like helpful for the beat making. <laughs> okay, so you had a bunk bed little brother yeah. on the bottom which is really mean yeah <laughs> okay and what and loads of like dolls i had dolls they were the scary kinds as well like i would collect them when i went to like op shops like a, a thrift shop many of them noise making ones because we can totally like sample that oh my god i had like this doll that used to walk <laughs> like a robot it used to, yeah like a robot doll that would just like all that she would do was like walk down the hall like you could control it and and it was just that was just the, the ugh. thinking about it now it's just disgusting like, that, that is, is so, creepy. so creepy even the dolls in toy story are like scary actually toy to story me. yeah that's not scary though that's like that's actually my dog's name is woody after toy story oh that's quite cute what's your dog's name by the way at uh, tui like, tui it's like a native yeah, it's like a native New Zealand bird. Okay, maybe we can sample a tui. Yes. They like copy like car alarms and stuff. Do you have it? Do you have the cereal? Oh, boom. And I have to say now that this is our Christmas episode. Yay! Um, so <laughs> yes, so happy Christmas. I also, I even, hold on. <gasps> oh my gosh. I, uh, I got a hat. I, I wanted to show an ornament that I bought because it looks like the front of the cereal box. I like, I've moved into a flat and it's like the first year that I have to like get my own like Christmas ornaments in the tree. And I was like looking for them and I found this ornament, which is just so ugly. Look oh at my it. God. They've like, just like. Who? Who in their right mind would make this and think, oh yeah, people are gonna like this, they're gonna buy it. Well, I bought it, but like, look at her. It's so bad. <laughs> but look, I thought the lights kind of, the lights matched. I thought it was kind of cute. Oh, it fits perfectly. I think I actually quite like it. I See? have this it's thing kinda, It's ugly things. It's the ugly things, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. But let's taste this thing. I mean, we've got the ornament for it. Let's taste it. Are you going to be offended if I don't like this because I'm not really a cereal person? Absolutely not because... What a cute it, box though. It looks like it's got a lot of e-numbers in it. <laughs> it looks like it's going to kill us both. It does. <laughs> Should we do so this? so sweet. Yeah. It's really brightly coloured. They're so cute though, like a little tree. Some of them look like trees, some of them look like little smudges. What is this meant to be? Oh, it's me. This is not a star. <laughs> I think they messed that one up. <laughs> it's a dud. Cheers. Cheers. Let's do this. It's got. It's got a really nice crunch. <laughs> <It does. laughs> that was a great this noise. Is be like... oh, no. I am sampling that noise right there. Oh my god! You actually should. I sampled um, a. Like me thinking my, uh, me thinking, me clicking my fingers in. What, like that kind of thing? In my song, cool. Oh, yeah. What, like actually, like bones like that? Uh, All right, we have to rate the cereal. <laughs> we have to rate the cereal okay. out of 10. What do you think? Five. A five out of 10. 
Five's not bad. Are you giving it a five out of ten on like the food scale entirely? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give it. Yep. Five. You're gonna give it a five. I'll give it a six. I think it's fine. <laughs> it's fine, but you have to really avoid the like little trees because they've just like they've just turned to dust. What kind of kid were you at school? Were you cool? Not in primary school. Primary school, I feel like there wasn't really like a cool in primary school. No, I was the kid who would like make mud pies and like flip them at <laughs> the girls and in, in like the year above. Um, and I was part of the Harry Potter fan club, and we'd like run around and like break sticks uh, off like trees and like whoa. try finding like the perfect sticks. But I, I mean, I was into Harry Potter, but I wasn't like a person. I'm not a person who like knows every little detail about like every series. You know what I mean? Like I can really like I can appreciate a series like Star Wars or something, and I like have watched all of them. But then I'm I couldn't tell you like a few names of like people I should know the names. Wait, no, so you liked me. Wait, what was the movie? What were the movies when you were young? Oh, Flushed Away. Flushed Away? Oh my god. Have you what watched Flushed Away? Oh no, my. what is it? I'm going to show you I'm gonna show you the cover. Look. <laughs> oh, it's like... Uh, it looks like it's Wallace so and Gromit cute. or something. I was just about to say Wallace and Gromit as well. Wait, Wallace I and... love that. I watched Wallace and Gromit like last night, literally. What about music? Um, music, what did I like when I was growing up? I don't know, I mean, I kind of listened to like a bunch of what my parents were like playing me. Um, I listened to like Radiohead and- Your parents played yeah. you Radiohead? Yeah, that was like the one, like that was like the city that they would not stop playing in like on road what? trips. Which one? In Rainbows. 100%. In Rainbows is like um, it's top like three albums of all time. Step. 15 Step is like one of my favorite songs ever. Did you play video games, Benny, when you grew up? Um, I I didn't have a PlayStation or an Xbox, so I played Nintendo Wii. I also had my little Nintendo, Nintendo DS. It's so good. I had like what games? Wii, we Wii had Wii Sport. We had Mario Kart, which was fun. And I had some like Alien Link Dinosaur one. I forgot what it's called, but you'd like go around and like, I don't know, make aliens. What's the best Christmas yeah. present you've ever got? <sighs> oh my goodness. Oh, that's right. Oh, I think I actually got a Nintendo DS for Christmas once. That's a good present. And that was a really great present. That was like, oh my God, thank you. You had to choose a few like sounds to define your childhood. What would they be? Maybe like waves. The sound of waves. Cool. I love the sound of waves and songs. Um, maybe yeah. like, sometimes I like like the sound of like, I don't know, like people talking in the background or like kids like talking in the background yeah. of like, you know, I don't know, that could be kind of cool. I'm well into that. Like, I like having like shouting in the back. It makes it sound like yeah. a party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what I might do, because it it's a Christmas, Christmas, Christmas episode. <gasps> it should be a Christmas song. What was your favorite Christmas song? Or do you have a favorite Christmas song now? Anything Michael Bublé. What? Buble? I've Michael never Buble. heard anybody under the age of 55 say <laughs> anything by Michael Buble. Oh my gosh. No, Holly Jolly Christmas. And it's Holly beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Whoosh. He like, like Christmas. he just, he goes off. Like, I he goes, he goes off. <laughs> you could do some like chimey stuff. Dramatic oh, strings. Yeah. Oh, we could do this. We can do like a tweaked Buble Christmas, like it can be called like for f sake it's Christmas or something like a bit. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I feel like I need to make it funny. I feel like I'm going to like kind of like take the with, out of myself with the lyrics. Benny, it's been lovely. It's been great hanging. I'm going to go away and I'm going to do this, this beat. Um, I'm excited. I you have um, a lovely pre-Christmas period. Thanks so much for making the time to do this. I appreciate it a lot. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Beat making for Benny. I've got my list. She wants emotive strings. Maybe some kind of emotive Harry Potter esque strings as a kind of intro. Maybe. That'd be cool. She played Nintendo DS, so maybe. You know that sound of the console when it switches on? When a DS switches on? It's like a. Ding, ding, ding. Waves. I, I can hear an intro, I can hear like a scene. 
ambient strings, which he asked for, and then Nintendo DS. <laughs> Intro! Radiohead. We want a little bit of Radiohead in there. We need like the cheesy Christmas version of that. Take out the high, make, filter it down, make it really like lo-fi. Kids shouting, which we can do. You know what, I'll steal the sounds from Tangerine for that. Whoa! Perfect. All right, I'm dropping that in. And then I'm gonna go on a small hunt for bird sounds. Just... Woo! I'm using that. The claps. Kid sounds. Put the kid sounds in. We got a beat. We got a beat. We got an intro, but I'm gonna go mix it and like make it sound tasty. And then I'm gonna send it to Benny. See you later. Benny, how are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. I lost my Christmas hat um, and I brought a dog as a replacement, but um, so I'm just going to let him sleep. He's just chilling. I really love the beat. I'm like, yes. yeah, it went, it went, it went good. But I like, I watched the other videos in the series and I was like, oh, these were really happy. But I was like, I'm going to make this like nostalgic and sad because that's like most of my music is sad and I like writing sad songs. I'm excited. I'm really excited to hear. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> can, I can I actually tilt my you screen? Can I tilt my screen? You can't. Why don't you just cover your face? Uh, okay, are you ready? Yes, very ready. Like it was like pulling on my heartstrings. You got your little brother in yeah. there. It's a bit about mud pies. That is so good. What was? Can you tell me what the okay. lyric was in, in the final section? Oh. When you go kind of high. Oh, it's oh. it's I must. <laughs> it's I must being young when nothing could go wrong. I feel like that's kind of you know it's kind of like a thing. Like you have no nothing to kind of worry about. Like you have no anxieties. Yeah. Well, at least I didn't when I was like little, like I didn't care about anything. You know, I'd chase someone around with a mud pie and throw it at them. And I wouldn't I think know. about the consequences. And then you laugh. And then you laugh it off. And maybe you get told off, but it doesn't actually matter. But if I did it now, I'd be really, it'd be really, really weird. I was actually thinking about that the other day. What, like, when that starts to change, when we start caring. Cause when you were a kid, like, I used yeah. to go to school and I'd be like, today I'm gonna wear all red. 
Yes. And I am going to look <laughs> so cool. I'm going to put like dinosaur tattoos on my arms. Um, yes. I'm going to wear all red and it's going to be cool. At some point, we all get a bit too self-conscious. Honestly, it's a, it's a gorgeous song. The melodies are beautiful. Thank you. And it, it just Hey, production is bloody, bloody brilliant. Thank you. I'm glad you liked it. And I'm, I think you wrote something absolutely brilliant to it. I'm blown away. Thank I think it's you. Genius. Um, thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Woody loved it. He's given me the like, <laughs> pause, Woody. two pause up, he says. Benny, thank you so, so you much too. for coming on the show. I appreciate it. You absolutely smashed it. Um, I love you. what you did so much. I've said that like a million times. It's because I Hi. I mean it and I get a bit flustered thank when um, when I have to give compliments and I go a bit wrong. <laughs> anyway, it was wonderful. It was wonderful. It was such a pleasure having you on the show. It's so lovely to meet you. Thank you so much for coming on. Likewise. Um, thank you so much. See you soon. Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas, everybody. Whoa. Woody, put your hat on, baby. Everybody.